And our next story is from Pakistan. It's facing another threat of a civil war, and this time not due to political differences or a leader's vested interests. This time due to the alleged targeting of Shia Muslims. It all started with an FIR against this man. His name is Aga Bakir Al Husseini. He is an influential scholar and cleric, and he recently presided over a religious gathering where he spoke about Pakistan's blasphemy laws. He basically said the laws have been made stricter, apparently to target the Shia community. And soon enough, he was booked for saying this. An FIR was lodged against him. It alleged that he made objectionable remarks against Prophet Muhammad. And since then, Gilgit Baltistan has been in the grip of unrest. Have a look at these images. They show thousands of Husseini's followers staging a protest on the streets of Skardu. They raise slogans against the Pakistan army and the politicians and even threaten to merge with India if their demands are not met. You heard that. Neither will we live, nor will you. These are some serious slogans. They show the pent-up anger that the residents of Gilgit Baltistan have towards the country's rulers, especially when it comes to their Shia identity. You see, Pakistan is a Sunni majority country, but in Gilgit Baltistan, it is the Shia Muslims that form a sizable chunk of the population. And Pakistan's political leaders have been trying to bring the population down. Ever since the regime of General Ziaul Haq, there have been attempts by successive Pakistan governments to change the demographic composition of this region. And they've tried to do so by moving the Sunni Muslims into the region. And to make matters worse, in January this year itself, Pakistan strengthened its already strict blasphemy laws. It basically extended them to punish anyone who offended people connected to Prophet Muhammad. Basically, early Muslims who were the Prophet's companions, the Shia cleric in question here being Al Husseini, allegedly insulted one of the Prophet's companions because many Shias do not follow him. And this has led to the current spate of unrest. The question is, what is Islamabad doing about all of this? Basically, nothing much. The political leaders are not talking about the protests. There is also no coverage of the protests on television. This is due to the establishment's grip over communication in the region. So any information that is flowing is through social media and in the form of trickles. So the job to ensure peace has been left to the courts. On Tuesday, the Gilgit Baltistan Apex Committee held a meeting a meeting to discuss ways to ensure peace and not let anyone disrupt the law and order. It was decided at that meeting that legal action will be taken against anyone trying to spread hate or trying to make the situation worse. We wonder what that even means. In any case, this is not the first time that Shias in Pakistan are protesting. They have done so multiple times in the past. And not without reason, of course. After all, in the last three years, they have been arrested or targeted for merely proclaiming their beliefs. And this time as well, the case seems to be no different. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.